Hi YouTube, I'm so excited to be speaking with you today because I'm talking about a brand that I've been really interested in and I've been following them for a few months, like almost like six months and I reached out to them and they were kind enough to send me some products to try out for free. They actually sent me more products than I expected because I was only hoping to try out a couple of their products and they're really nice. It's this brand called Chemist Confessions and they're a small brand and they're so cute and they're so informative. They care a lot about informing their customers and about like the science behind the formulation as opposed to just trying to push the product. They also have a YouTube channel. So um, I, will live, I will leave their description in the info box below. Um, I... I feel so grateful that they sent me these products for free. So I'm sure there's a little bit of bias there, but this company and these girls, they've never told me that you have to leave a positive review or um, that you have to leave a video. They told me that, you know, they'd love to see my feedback. And I feel like, I feel like they're such a unique brand and I really like to support small businesses. And I have four of the products that they sent me here. And they sent me one other product, but I forgot to take it with me. And so it's not here with me, but I have used it for over a month. And I hope that I can still share my opinions with like a infographic. Okay, so the first product I want to talk about is their gold standard. This is one of their best sellers. It's called gold standard. Um... AHA treatment with 30% glycolic acid, 5% tranexamic acid. So this was one of the products that I, I wanted to try out from this, this brand. And I feel like glycolic acid is one of those ingredients that is very effective, yet for people of color like myself, glycolic acid can be a bit too irritating. And in the past, I have worsened my hyperpigmentation by using glycolic acid frequently with no sun protection so that was one of my issues but the interesting thing about this product is that it has five percent tranexamic acid so i did research and i'm going to this time i'm going to leave the links to the research paper that i'm talking about because i feel like it may actually help you if you decide to read those articles yourself when they did research on the combination of 30% of glycolic acid with 5% tranexamic acid topically, they learned and they compared this with 30% glycolic acid alone. So without the 5% tranexamic acid in treatment of melasma for 12 weeks, they noticed that the improvement they saw was faster. Like you see faster improvement in melasma with a 30% um, glycolic acid with tranexamic acid, 5% tranexamic acid. However, the difference at the end of the 12 weeks between the combination of the two versus just the glycolic acid peeling solution was not statistically significant. So what does that mean in regards to the efficacy of this? There's a lot of research behind this product. This is not something that people just decide to throw together. I believe that the tranexamic acid is very helpful in preventing the redness that comes with glycolic acid for people of color. And the erythema happens with, you know, all skin types, all skin colors, but the erythema for people of color can very quickly convert to hyperpigmentation. So there was a lot of hyperpigmentation noticed for just glycolic acid, but with glycolic acid with tranexamic acid, there was no like hyperpigmentation that was like post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation that was noticed. So I think this is very promising. In my experience of using this, I, first of all, this does have a scent. Um, in my experience of using, oh my God. In my experience of using this, do you see this is like a really nice golden color? Um, in my experience of using this, it is such a smooth application. It did not leave any redness or erythema for me. The way I like to use this is I really like to use this as a peel once a week, but I have tried using it. The way they recommend it is either as a peel. So you put it on, you leave it on for 10 minutes, you wash it off, or you use a dot size with 
you know, your moisturizer or serum. I personally don't like using it at, in combination with a moisturizer or serum because I feel like I, um, it's, it becomes more hydrating than like it becomes way too gentle and i'm someone who really likes to use i use tretinoin i use um jesner's peel and i use like exfoliating acids quite a bit so i feel like i can handle this as a peeling um application and wash off after 10 minutes doing it once a week i kid you not i had the smoothest like skin and i did break out when i went to india but you know it, it you know it happens but in my experience, this product does not leave any kind of redness, which I appreciate because I'm so prone to redness that converts to hyperpigmentation. So absolutely love this. This is a repurchase. Now, if you're someone who has sensitive skin and you cannot use glycolic acid, I understand. By the way, all of these products are fragrance-free, which I respect and I admire so much. It means a lot to me. Um, if you are someone with sensitive skin, I think and you're hesitating about glycolic acid, I totally understand. I would suggest you try their baby steps. This is their 30% gluconolactone with 15% lactic acid. I cannot tell you how unique this formulation is. Also, all of these formulations are pretty unique, minus this one, but this one is like really unique. I haven't seen glycolic acid or tranexamic acid very much. And 30% gluconolactone with 15% lactic acid is like super unique. And I don't know, I just, I feel like it's, it's, it's just hard to find people putting out products that are based on research and not so much on hype. And I feel like not a lot of people talk about gluconolactone. They talk about it more in the sense of PHAs, but I don't know. I, I really feel like this is such a unique product and people with sensitive skin are absolutely going to love this. This is great for, again, as a one-time application, like you put it on, you wash it off, or you can put this with your moisturizer, very similar to this product. But I, again, like to use this just on my forehead and my T-zone area um, and my chin. And you guys, the improvement in like, tiny bumpy skin as well as like hydration is noteworthy glycolic acid sorry gluconolactone has a lot of evidence out there particularly by neostrata um also with like lact lactobionic acid they're very similar so gluconolactone converts to lactobionic acid in the presence of water and it really helps with redness and erythema similar to and you see similar results with gluconolactone as you would with glycolic acid, but gluconolactone does not have the same level of irritation that glycolic acid has. So knowing that this also has lactic acid, which is an actual, like it, it's, it's also an exfoliating agent, but it's gentler because it's slightly bigger molecule than glycolic acid in this. Like, I can't tell you like, I don't know, this is just like amazing to me and this is definitely a repurchase for me. Um, it's also very smooth in its application. Like the all of these products do have a little bit of a scent, but it's not fragrance. And I, again, like very thoughtful formulation. It's really smooth. It feels very comfortable. It does, by the way, this may sting for you if you're like new to using glycolic acid peels, but this one absolutely does not sting. There's a lot of research about gluconolactone being used with azelaic acid in helping with hyperpigmentation. So if you're someone who uses azelaic acid, I love azelaic acid, try using it with this. You will notice such an improvement with redness, like it's insane and you will get such a glow both with the gluconolactone and the lactic acid. Highly recommend. Next, I'm gonna talk about this, <coughs> sorry. Next, I'm going to talk about this. This is the Bomb Voyage, um, like, soothing occlusives. This has ceramide 3, which is ceramide NP, at 1%, and it has petrolatum at 48%, 48 48.8%, with 10% squalane, and it also has 2.5% of Biswala Serrata extract. 
I love this. This has been my savior while I was traveling because it's such a cute size. It's perfect for people dealing with peeling and flaky skin, which is what I was dealing with in October because I did a Jester's peel and it did not break me out. I feel very hesitant using Vaseline on my face, particularly on my forehead, and this was calming while it also helped with the flaking. And this is great for, you know, dry spots on the skin, also for the lips area. I feel like this is very similar to CeraVe's Healing Ointment, except it's much more malleable, like it's softer texture. It's not as hard and hard to spread as CeraVe is. This is so easy to spread. And I really love it. It feels so luxurious on the skin without compromising on um, like efficacy, basically. I feel like... Oh, also, the 2.5% Biswala Serrata Extract is a anti-inflammatory agent. Like, it's used in chronic diseases. It's... Um, it has a compound that's particularly great for inhibiting inflammation. So I think that, um, and they use it at a pretty high percentage, like, and they're disclosing that percentage to you. So it's moisturizing and it's like, it still has like good, like good um, actives in it. Also, I feel like th though this is a really good product, I don't see myself repurchasing it because it is a bit expensive for my budget right now but I still think that if you're interested in this product you should definitely get this because this is a small business and I love to support small businesses and I really really do love this product. Next I'm going to be talking about this is again a game changer this is the double play retinol serum or what is it called this is their double play retinol moisturizer for both the eye area and the rest of the face i love this product i've been using it exclusively on my eye area and i don't know if you can tell but i've like i can't say i've noticed a huge difference especially when it comes to um pigmentation uh, but I have like, I've had no adverse effects, which goes a long way for retinol based products, particularly for the eye area, because my eye, eyes are particularly sensitive and I'm really prone to irritation. This has not irritated me at all, like at all. And I've used this first. I started using it a few times a week, slowly worked my way up to using it every night. And I've been using it every night and I actually really like it. Like I, I can't tell you like, I can't tell you that I've like noticed a huge difference in my like dark circles, but like it's been such a good experience because it's so hydrating. And I want to talk about the ingredients. This has 2% niacinamide. It has 0.3% encapsulated retinol, which is fantastic. That means it's low release. It's not likely to cause a lot of irritation. It also has uh, Centella Asiatica, it has Abyssalol, which is really, really, both of them are really good for, you know, calming down inflammation and dealing with redness. It has 2% haloxyl peptides, which is a combination of peptides that you can see in, um, in you know, Buffet. And like, it is a very popular um, combination of peptides. And these peptides, the blend of these peptides is particularly aimed to help with fine lines and um, wrinkles. So I think that, um, oh, also this is a dupe for Neostrata's like retinol eye cream. I believe they only sell it for like a tube that has 15 mils of product in it. This one has a full ounce. This has 50, 30 mils of product in it. It comes in a pump bottle. Um, I cannot tell you how much. Okay, I'm going to put like a tiny drop because I need this to last me a long time because this is so amazing. Like I genuinely wanted to try the Neostratus eye cream, but it's expensive. And this is a dupe for like twice the volume and half the cost. So I can't understand why no one's talking about this. This is amazing. And like seriously this is i'm gonna buy this for my mom too because it's that great like it's a repurchase 
I mean, I'm going to repurchase it and I'm also going to buy this for my mom. I like, I, I just wish that more people knew about this. Like I've literally not seen a whole lot of videos about people talking about this. So I feel like I, I really hope more people do, you know? One last thing I want to mention about this, the only thing I wish is different about this packaging is that I wish this was the same like tube type of packaging as these products because you can have much more of a control over how much you're dispensing each time for application and I feel like you lose some in the pump, I don't know. That's the only like critique I have about this product. Going into the last product, that's their Aquafix Hydrating Water Gel. That is a fantastic hydrating serum type of product. I I think I almost finished that product because it was so insanely hydrating. And guys, now that it's colder with the heater always running, my skin has become so prone to dryness. I love using that product. It has 5% glycerin. It also has sodium PCA, allantoin, has metakesicide, it has, it has panthenol, and it has sodium hyaluronate. This is a water, like oil-free product that spreads smoothly on my skin. And I honestly really love this product, but it is expensive, you guys. I can't see myself buying this again only because of the cost there's nothing wrong with the product it works really well it's hydrating i love that it has glycerin at a really high percentage and they tell you what percentage it's at um yeah like there's really nothing wrong with it it's just like super like like i don't know i'm just not a huge fan of um the cost and it it's in a pump bottle and it, it seems like you're getting a lot more product than you actually are. So I was definitely surprised when I was coming to the end of it. I was like, wow, it's already over. But I was legit using like two pumps every day. So you can go through that pretty quickly. Um, product and formulation wise, there's nothing wrong. But I feel like the cost is a bit hard for me to see myself purchasing. Um, but otherwise, there this brand is literally like such an open like they disclose everything they're so honest even when you watch their videos like they do a podcast but they also post like the like the video version of their podcast on youtube they're so like i can see myself being friends with these girls they're so nice they're always like laughing but they also give you like really good information that i feel like not a lot of people on youtube talk about because so much of like youtube beauty content is like pushing products and not telling you um, the science behind it and why formulations are important and these girls do exactly that and I really respect them and admire them um, and yeah if you like my video I hope you subscribe to my channel I will be posting in-depth review of all of these products um, later on as I like come close to finishing them all up and I hope that I can see you guys in the comment section and please hit the like button it means a lot to me and subscribe to my channel and share this with a friend. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.